Hi, this is Christoph Antal from Pronovix, and uh, in this video cast, I'm going to demo you our new feature stack for OpenAtrium. Um, this feature stack is, um, is focused around knowledge management and uh, things that can make it easier to do knowledge management on the job. So first of all, you notice that this is just OpenAtrium, nothing, nothing much changed in the interface. Once you create a new group, Um, you got two new presets to choose from. I'm going to take this one. And uh, the first thing that you probably notice is that there's new two new features, two new icons that you probably haven't seen before. Um, first one, the bookmark trail is um, a feature that allows you to add um, something like delicious to your project management tool. Um, it allows you to um, create a problem for example um, views three uh, remote data sources. That's a cool one. <laughs> and now use three remote. Let's see, Drupal. <coughs> so while you're searching, the first um, we'll have to drag the bookmarklet into our toolbar and then while searching uh, let's say this one well I say that this is something interesting click the bookmarklet and it fires up a pop-up with a whole bunch of stuff already pre-filled. So basically, it took the title from the page you were looking at. Um, it remembered uh, for my user account what was the last problem that I was looking at or working on. Uh, the URL of the page that uh, I'm saving. And it also grabbed the text um, from, uh, that I had selected. So the only thing we have to do is save. And um, that's the bookmark trail. Mind maps. Probably some people will have seen this already. But um, this is a little feature that allows you to add um, mind maps to your Drupal um, or your Open Atrium site. Um, let's say something. Um, now, if you if you would have been working on your local machine, on your um, computer, um, on FreeMind, you could copy over the FreeMind XML code here. Since we didn't, I'm just going to leave that empty, save that. And we'll go and fetch that node. And voila, now we can just play with the mind map. You can also add Drupal items like node number six or users um, and the cool thing is that you can then use those and they get automatically filled in as an argument for views now um, I'm going to skip that here um, and they also have links to the actual notes you can go and save that or export it back to um, FreeMind XML. And then we can look further. The next feature I want to show is a little extension for um, any kind of text um, that you have in OpenAtrium. So for example, a book page. 
um, we added um, the semantic um, markup editor, which is basically an RDF, uh, RDFA WYSIWYG editor. So when you have some text, say text, um, you can select pieces of it and give it certain properties. For example, these are audience tags. Um, so uh, I'll explain you in a minute what you can do with that. You can also look at in text tags um, or has ticket. Um, and then um, when we look at the text, you see that it added spans with a property to that. Now, the, um, the really cool thing is that when you save this, you get this semantic filter um, interface where you can interact with those RDFA tags. Now, how does this work? Um, we've got a module of uh, semantic filters that will go and um, look through the text for um, certain patterns and add um, a CSS class to that. And then you can use the semantic layer technology to visualize them differentially. So you could just use this, for example, to have one big documentation um, that is both for managers and design people and developers, and then highlight or hide certain parts of the text depending on the user that's looking at it. You might remember this technology from um, our project Spazzle. And um, the, so that's the semantic um, semantic editing technology. But there's um, I've got another one. There's still one more to show, which is this thing here, the insert. And the insert um, this is faceted insert um, that pops up an, an an interface that allows you to um, search for certain well, uh, search for um, texts that are um, or pieces of text in your OpenAtrium install that are tagged with a certain keyword um, and uh, and then insert them into your text okay. and um, the way you could use this for example is to make a library of text snippets that uh, you often use and then um, um, use them for like proposal writing or something Okay, let's save this. And um, that's basically it. That's uh, our feature stack. Thank you for watching.